Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is your first time here. My name is Jess, I upload videos once a week, usually bookish content with a little bit of lifestyle thrown in for good measure and for today's video I am joined by a very special guest. If you don't know, this is my daughter Meg, she is 11 and she is a very avid reader, aren't you? Yes. yes. And what is your favourite type of book? Murder read. mystery. I didn't even let me finish. Murder <laughs> mysteries are Meg's favourite type of book. And the reason that Meg is joining me for today's video is because we have very kindly been sent a Tales by Mail box to unbox and show you all. So if you're not familiar, Tales by Mail is a bookish subscription box and podcast for children aged between eight and twelve. Um, and they very kindly sent us their siblings December box. So we're going to show you the goodies that are in there. As I said, they sent us a sibling box. Um, so they included enough stuff for uh, my son Eli, who is nine. Uh, but I thought that it would be a little bit chaotic to have both Meg and Eli in the video. So I've chosen my most sensible child um, and she's going to help me unbox. Are you ready? Yeah. Very, very excited to see what is in here. Um, so do you want to do the honours? Okay, so let's just, if we can show without tipping everything out, <laughs> this risky business. <laughs> this is not gonna work. This is what it looks like inside. Um, so on the top, as I said, it's a sibling box. Um, I think that as standard, you get two books in each box, but what they have sent us is a duplication of all the paperwork that you get in um, so that the kids have one each. So first up we have, um, we have two of these which says welcome here's a gift to make your membership official sew this patch to your favorite jacket bag pouch pocket wear it with pride and then it's a little tails by mail logo there look so we've got two of those what else have we got in there yeah a load of paper here wow. oh let's have a look okay so the theme of the box this december is whimsical worlds whimsical worlds that's the little card and then on the, on the back it tells you what is inside your whimsical world's box so we'll pop that to one side and my understanding is that um, if you sign up to a subscription box you can build a folder so each month you get some little cards that you can then insert into your folder um, and build up a little collection of things so we have got a card about book one um, and then it's got space so it's got a little synopsis and then it has space for the child's review of the book and then the star rating that they would give as well oh and then look on the back it's got a little note from a little note from the author and then have you got the one for book two yeah so they have the exact same for book two with a note from the author and then two whimsical world activities oh that's cute isn't it so two different activities as well as i say they're all whole points so i think that they go in the folder and then there's a challenge championships the challenge championships completes the three activities for each challenge to earn your badge see if we can get it to focus on that so you can see little bookish things there for the children to do there are three bookmarks here there's one for a dancer's dream about the nutcracker oh that's pretty look Hang on, hang on. Catherine Woodfine? Yeah, I know. Isn't her. she the author of the books that you got for Christmas? Um, yes, the Sinclair's Mysteries, I think. Is she? Yeah. There you go, what else have we got there? The Girls Who Invented Christmas. So we have this bookmark here. Very sparkly and cute. And then actually there's this one which is Owl and the Lost Boy and on the back there's a load of books and I've read that one, Snow Oh, Globe. Snow Globe. I've read that one. Discover your next favourite read from Amy Wilson. Ooh, wrong way. <laughs> Let's get it right. So there we go and then yeah you can see the different books that she has written. I've read the Snow Globe one. And Megs has read this one. Very good. What else do we get in here? So that's a duplication. So in the siblings box, as I say, you get all the same paperwork. So 
exactly the same cards um, for your other children. There's some herbal tea. Small and wild, happy herbal tea for kids. There, what have you got? There's a snoozy fox tea. There. That's it. Yep. And a jolly crock tea. <laughs> so we have got snoozy fox tea, calming chamomile tea infused with sweet spearmint, a hint of lavender, and brightly coloured by blue pea flowers. And then on this one, jolly crock tea. It says fruity infusion, bursting with vibrant bananas, sweet strawberry and refreshing apple, especially blended for children. That's cute, isn't it? I have to give those, give those a go. I've not come across that before. And then as I say, duplicate um, as part of the sibling box. Pink and bubble. Oh look, a little Christmas decoration. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Little Christmas decoration there. Oh, there's two little badges here, like Christmas badges. How cute, look at those. And two little pins as well, they're the same. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't know if it'll let me do this. Let's have a look. It's too shiny. It is very shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on you, there we go. Two little pins, look. And then also we have two stickers that say a bookworm lives here. And that is true. <laughs> Several bookworms live here, right? Which is very cute. Where are you going to stick yours? Mm, maybe on my door. On your door? Yeah. <laughs> I live in my room. You do live in your room, that's true. Right, now we are on to... So they are all the goodies. They're very, very sweet goodies. Um, but now we are on to the, the books. books. So what? which one do you want to pull out first? This one. I like the look of this You one. like the look of this one? Do you want to read it out? The House at the Edge of Magic by Amy Sparks. By Amy Sparkles. Oh, Sparks. Sparks. Sparkles. <laughs> Amy Sparks, right, there we go. Right, let's quickly, I've not come across this book before, um, so let's quickly read the back. A witch's curse, a hidden treasure, a wizard in fluffy slippers. Sounds about right. <laughs> Nine is an orphan pickpocket with nothing to her name, but when she plucks a beautiful ornament from someone's purse, she's sure her luck is about to change. Instead, her treasure grows into an enormous house full of magic, mystery and ridiculous residents. Sounds a little bit like, um, oh, what's it called? With the hotel. Oh, Mo the Tales of Morrigan Crow. Oh, yeah. The hotel with lots of random uh, residents in it. It's not the Tales of Morrigan Crow, is it? It's the trials, just, the trials of Morrigan Crow. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's not Hotel Transylvania. Honestly, we do know what we're talking about. Back to the book. But this enchanted place is under a terrible curse that only nine can break, and she might be willing to help for something in return. Well, that sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, look, and you've got a little signed. That's the author. So she's written enjoy the adventure oh. and then she signed it there so you can a little book plate so you can stick Amy that. Sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> right what's the other book then? And this one is apparently inspired by the Hobbit. It's The Marvellous Land of Snurgs. The Marvellous Land of Snurgs. <laughs> by Veronica Cosentelli? Cosentelli. Based on the original by E. A. Wick Smith. The story that inspired The Hobbit, not based oh. on The Hobbit. Right, let's see if we can zoom in on this. It's shiny. It is very, very shiny. <laughs> Pip and Flora are in trouble. They have run away from the Sunny Bay home for su superfluous and accidentally parentless children and fallen into another world altogether. The marvellous land of snakes has tree houses, cinnamon bears, and wobsters but there are also dastardly kelps and a villain in head-to-toe purple. Their new friend is a cheerful snurg called Gorbo. He will lead them home if they know where home really is and if Gorbo can remember how to get there. Oh look, it's got some illustrations in it as well. Hang on, just definitely saw one. That's cool, isn't it? It's got some, some very pretty... The writing. Why, so you don't know what happens? Yeah. <laughs> I want to look at the chapter heads as well. 
they're all decorated that looks so cute and sweet doesn't it which one do you think go for first that one. this one yeah very good that I means eli by like default that has to read that one although he did recently read the hobbit so this may well be of interest for him um so there you go they are all the wonderful goodies that we were gifted in our tales by mail subscription box um thank you very much for watching did you enjoy unboxing that yeah yes you did um so as always do leave me a comment let me know what you thought if you enjoyed this video I'll give you the thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you aren't already thank you very much for watching i hope that you are all keeping well and staying safe and we will see you very soon bye bye